I'm just testing my lights. <laughs> Good morning, or oh, welcome, replayers. Welcome. Come on in. I'm going to be gently arting. I'm going to be playing in my altered book, and it's it's a lovely place to put my zines. <laughs> I'm going to be doing some stamp carving literally stamp carving for beginners no right or wrong it just just gentle stamp carving and what else am I going to be doing I think I'll play with paint and and the gel plate too so come and join me come and join me and I'll read the chat out to you lovely replayers there's Freddie that's Freddie says hi and in come the lovely chat because this is actually live Shannon, good morning. <laughs> Sh Shannon, yes, you, you, you're you awake and, and catch me live. That's really lovely. And Janet B, all the way over there in Canada. And happy Thanksgiving to, to Janet and Janet's family and everybody that's in Canada. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> And Susan Lee, Susan Lee, I'm going to be working with the zine you sent me. I'm going to be making a pocket for it. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> oh, and there's Patty. Good morning, Patty. So nice to see you. And Dar, look, Dar, there's Freddie. Hi, hi, Dar. Good morning, Aunt Bex. Good morning. So nice to see you. I know it's so bright and early for, for I think, everybody that here is in Canada or the United States at the moment. It's so early for you. I do appreciate that you're starting your day with me. And Kimberly, oh, good morning. Am I missing people? Let me just. I need to scroll back up. Yeah, um, no, I don't think so. Just shout at me again if I do. <laughs> There's Pam, Pam and Misty. Pam's already had her Monday. Can you believe that? If I turn this light out, is it too dark? It is. It just light saturates. Light saturates my face. Get over it, Janet. <laughs> um, so nice to see you, Pam. Pam and Puscats <laughs> cuddling up together on a spring, a spring evening. So nice to see you. Ah, oh, and Kimberly. So nice to see you. How's your garden growing, Kimberly? Harvesting the pumpkins. Oh, you've had a really good summer with that garden, haven't you? And are your mum and dad home yet, Kimberly? Um, home back from your brothers and there's Marty early morning snacks to keep us going oh thank you so much <laughs> and there's Gail AC and her little dog Elvin <laughs> nice to see you nice to see you come on in and Joe, so nice to see you <laughs> you got here at the start Joe. Come on in, come on in. You're never late though. And I always say there's plenty of chairs, <laughs> plenty of snacks, plenty of gentle art and ideas from myself, but from one another in the chat and in the comments too. Good afternoon, Julia. <laughs> I trust you're getting better. Mm. Oh. You're having a slice of toast and jam as your tummy is still tender. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Oh, Aunt Bex. Yes, you take it gently with your tummy and yourself. Let's start the week how we mean to go on. Good afternoon, little pickles. <laughs> and to your cat, Nala. Penny. Penny Hard, did I say good morning to you, Penny P, from Wyoming? I, I would imagine in Wyoming that you're getting some lovely autumnal colours. Your mum and dad are staying in Florida. Oh, yes, yes. But I, I know they were with your, your brother. Um, I didn't know whether they'd gone back to their 
place. Yeah. Mm. Your pumpkins are now ready for decoration. I can't wait to see those. We see you on Twitter, don't we, Kimberly? Tap me in because I don't want to miss miss it. <laughs> Joe says, happy Monday to everybody and to the replays. Happy whatever day that you're listening to this. Mm. <laughs> Oh, um, beautiful colours, says Penny P in Wyoming, mm, which is very late for this time of year. Most times we have had snow. Well, I know our Barbara was saying that she'd had snow. Mm, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's let's get on. I showed you last week my little altered book and I had another zine this week. We've been doing making zines zines are little magazines if you haven't if shout up now if you don't know what zines are um they're quite historical and they're like mini magazines short run publications and i was talking to meljoy and she said that she used to swap zines when she was a teenager and I, I, do the history, doing the history of them, they were created maybe in the 1920s, 30s. So they've been around and we are this snail mail revolution again. It, it, yeah, we love we love sending, sending our art out to one another, don't we? Mm. So this is a gorgeous one. Little mini magazines. And that was... That's a traditional one that was sent from our lovely Becky. And I put that in a cat page. I'm making pockets in this. And this week, Susan Lee in chat here from San Francisco sent me, a, because we've been making zines, experimenting with lots of different shapes, haven't we? <laughs> So I had a zine this week. Isn't it amazing? I had a zine from San Francisco. Thank you so much. You made a little cup zine last week. Oh, little pickles. That's amazing. And you made a cat one as well, didn't you? You had no idea what a zine was. <laughs> I know. Well, I've only heard about it recently in this community, but chatting to Mel Joy, she said, no, no, she used to get teenage publications and they used to say, uh, have pen pals in the back of the, what would that be? Um, a little teenage comic, comics, we got Jackie, uh, that was my favourite comic when I was a little girl. Oh, there's, there's Roy. Mm. <laughs> You're early. Oh, look at you, Roy. <laughs> up bright and early. Well, let's not say bright. Let's just say you're up, get some coffee and take it slow. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> oh, I was thinking that was Becky Shannon. It's Art Junkie. I said hi to you. You were first in, actually, weren't you, Shannon? <laughs> And so my San Francisco zine, I've got the key for the city here. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so, Little Pickles, another challenge. What zine, shape zine, would you like to make this week? <laughs> Someone said to me, make a tea bag zine. I've got that written down, tea bag shape. I think that would be appropriate to go with our biscuit zine, wouldn't it? And I've got the sun rising over the San Francisco Bridge. Isn't this absolutely spectacular? And love on stamps. I've got some, the flowers, the Californian poppy. There's Trudy, oh. You, you're in bed, you're not going to chat, just listening. Trudy, yes, that must affect you so much, I know. I, we will be gently, gently arting and 
you have us on in the background. We will keep you company, Trudy. I've written your name there. So I, I know you're there. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Sending you so much love, Trudy. You rest and re restore, yes, your mind and, and your soul. Hmm. Karen, good evening. There's Karen over there in... Um, oh. Isn't it lovely, Pam? I know. Trudy, you're getting, let me, you, you close your eyes. Let me read the chat for you. Janet B from Canada is, is saying, and, and, and yes. Oh, and Dar is sending you love. Yes, yes. Dar, it was at the beginning, but lots of people come in. Did I say hi to you? I, if I hadn't, I apologise, Dar. <laughs> it's so nice to see you. So nice to see you. Yeah, you relax back. Mm. Little Pickles is sending love and hugs and positive thoughts to anyone who is in need of them. That's so kind of you. Mm. Love and rest, says Susan Lee, all the way from San Francisco um, in our lovely worldwide community. Mm. Thank you, ladies. Much appreciated, says Trudy is gaga for gluing. That's it. You settle back down now, um, Trudy. I'll keep you company. We'll keep you company. Um, state flower, Californian poppy, and the state bird is the quail. And then they've got a stamp with St. Francis there. The oh, patron saint of animals, and the state animal is the grizzly bear. San Francisco. Oh, and we've got we've got seals in the bay. Isn't that amazing? And a little stamp of the queen. <laughs> That's lovely. That's amazing. Love from Susan Lee. September celebrate <laughs> celebration that's lovely I would like to make a pocket in my altered book for this little zine to go in I was explaining last week that books with old books um, with what's called signatures and they are sewn in with thread so let's is that Ruth? Ruth, good morning, Ruth. Come on in, come on in. Oh, let's start the week together, shall we? Yes, yes. There's Carol. Good morning, Carol. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. You get yourself a lovely warm drink, Carol, and come and rest with us for a while. And, and Loka, look, there's Freddie, Loka. Is that making Loka howl already? <laughs> Come on in, Karen, rest a while for, with us. Your little allergy nose. Because oh. they're picking the pumpkins, aren't they? And causing so much dust and, around you. Mm. Thanks, Gail, MC. <laughs> Gail, air conditioning, as our lovely Lizzie would call you. <laughs> so... I, it, this book's got about four or five signatures in it, so I've already gone to the centre of each signature and taken out some pages. But let's find another signature. You can see that it's a signature because you can see the stitches in the middle. So I've gone to, I'm going to this signature. I haven't done any in this one. So you want to work. A little bit in the back, a little bit in the front. <laughs> this is how you, it's just a little bit like making the altered magazine as well. And you experiment and you make mistakes when you're doing these and, and they get bulky and that, that's how you, you learn and evolve. Mm. Yes, they're picking and stirring up all the allergies and it's windy too. Oh, sending you love. Sending you love, Carol. Hmm. So there's, this, there's the 
in the middle, I can see this is the middle of the signature. So I can see the thread. I'm going to fold that over. I've just glued it. So that just strengthens that all together. <laughs> now let me just take this away. That's it. From there, Donna, good morning. And Janice. Oh, it's Monday, Janice. Janice is up getting ready for work. Oh, I do hope that you have some times to relax this week, um, Janice. Mm -hmm. and then Ray, good morning, Ray. So nice to see you. Shannon Green, Shannon Green, good morning. Morning, y'all. <laughs> so nice to see you. We've got two Shannons in the house. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> So lovely to see you. Come on in. Come on in and rest a while with us. This is my little dog, Freddie. <laughs> oh, so nice to see you. Scott starts his new job. Oh, new job next week. And he's, he started the teaching already, hasn't he? I believe, Becky. So what am I doing? That's it. So I, I followed Christina Shack. I'm going to leave a link below. She did this lovely, she'd seen it on a video. She made this, I think she called it a portfolio. And I'm going to do one in my altered book. And when we do our art, and sometimes, do you know, we're inspired by one another, aren't we? I don't think there's many new ideas. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Dana, your dog's not well. Oh, yes, I agree with Gail AC. Gail understands, don't you? Sending healing energy, definitely, definitely. What, um, what Christina did, she made like a little portfolio. So I'm going to make one in the centre here. So I'm going to stick two pages together like this in the middle she did hers separately so this by sticking this it just makes them stronger and now if you've got if you've got a handy dandy little one inch punch i treated myself to one didn't i and then it broke yeah still hey ho <laughs> i just go around here I, I just go around, just go around something. You use what you have. So I've got these two pages stuck together and reinforced. So it's just going to be like a little portfolio in the middle of my altered book here, ready to put my San Francisco shaped zine. Ah, oh, Susan, wonderful. <laughs> And again, if there's anybody gently listening in the background, welcome. And if you're gently listening and you're in Canada, if you're making your Thanksgiving dinner, <laughs> I do hope you have a lovely day. So then I've got these two pages like this. I'm going to stick these together. I'm just using my Pritt stick. I've gone through phases with glues through phases and this one just seems to stick everything so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with this no pun intended <laughs> storage in an altered book absolutely absolutely who else makes altered books here let's see what this I love it when things stick out oh yes that's gonna stick out nicely it like that. Wonderful. I'm going to give this chance to stick together. There's Becky. Good morning, Becky. So nice to see you. What's your week looking like, Becky? I know that you, you've got the family and you do so much for yourself and your community around you, don't you? Mm. Um, you've dabbled in altering books. Yes. I would call what I do dabbling. Yes. Mm. Good morning, Rebecca. Jughead says hi to little Freddie here. 
Oh, and Janet, Janet USA. So we've got Janet Canada, myself, and Janet USA. We've got like the full set now. Bingo. <laughs> There's Anne, Anne Alters Books. Oh, Anne, I can leave a link below. I'm going to leave a link for Christina, this idea. I'm going to leave a link below for Anne. You, what's your Alice in Wonderland? That was an altered book, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, um, Little Pickle says, yes, glue sticks are quite effective. Your little mini Hulk stuck something to the dishwasher door yesterday with um, with glue. He was experimenting, wasn't he? Yes. Oh. And then I've got this. I've got out of a vintage atlas. I've got two different types. I've got I've got the map of the USA here and Canada. I think I want to I want to include that one. I've got the one here just of San Francisco. No, I've changed my mind. I'm going to include, I'm going to use this one because it's this is, oh so many of you are here. There's South Carolina's here. Wow. It, I'm honing my honing my geography skills. Nashua, so nice to see you. Oh, Joe Moore mo mostly scrap does scrapbooking. Mm. And you're cutting magazines. You've brought vintage books um, to one day turn into journals. Yeah, it would. You know, we go through phases, don't we? We go through phases, and I. I, I don't lightly call the stream gentle art. I I really I really just it's so important for our art not to be stressing, putting pressure on ourselves or letting other people and their skills put pressure on us. You be you. Mm. Oh, that's it. We will we'll all be going off to Rebecca's later, won't we? I've got a little envelope here of the things I was fussy cutting at the weekend. So they're quite autumn because it's autumn here. Um, I know in Australia, for our friends in Australia, it's spring. I'm going to put this in here so I then I can carry this around with me. I've also got this wonderful from Becky Waters. Becky Waters from a chamomile tea box already makes you feel relaxed, doesn't it? Peter. <laughs> oh, not quite yet. Not quite yet, Peter. But you bring us your nighttime snack with you. Oh, Peter. Um, is there some way you can contact me? Um or I can contact you because I've got a I did a little draw draw and I got a postcard to send you, Peter. So let me know. I can always put my email in the chat and then take it out again if that's a good way. Um, let me know. Hmm. Little pickles cut up her mother's curtains. I cut up my mum's scarf. And it, I was so pleased with myself. I don't know how old I was. I was sitting in the bedroom and then my granny came in and it was probably a silk scarf. I was just, I was in the zone in my art. <laughs> and I was a little girl and she came in. It wasn't until she said, oh, I don't think your mum would be that pleased. Um, I just thought, yeah, I didn't realise it was wrong. <laughs> so I always try to bear that in mind when the children were young. Do do things like that. When Sam was very young, they went to stay somewhere. And you, you learn never to say never with your children. Oh, my children would never do that. Or my dog would never do that. Thank you. Mm. Oh, Lizzie said that she cut up, cut up some of her mum's curtains too when she was a little girl. Do you know, we're just so creative. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, yeah, when Sam, 
but we, we were staying in this place. I, I'm trying to think where it was in Bristol, and it was really lovely actually, overlooking the river, with glass. It was really quite nice. We were only staying there for a year, and he had his felt tipped pens. I went into the bathroom, and he'd signed. He he was he was a toddler. And I, I couldn't believe it because he'd never been a one for drawing on the windows. Hi, Sherry. Come on in. Come on in. Um, and he'd signed his name on the bathroom sink. The, what do you call it? The working top next to the sink. I, in felt tip. I couldn't believe it. I, I'm not quite sure how the rest of the story goes, but I, I don't think I was cross with him because I do bear that in mind. <laughs> oh, I do bear that in mind. So um, <laughs> I know that's what children do, but oh dear, your daughter went through a phase of signing all the furniture. You've preserved a few. I know that my, um, uh, my, my, Cousin Claire, who's now in charge of the managing the BBC Concert Orchestra. It's a lovely 1970s table. And it wasn't until her mum turned it over to clean. I'm sure she did it quite regularly. You no, know, my auntie Jennifer, the one that quilts. Underneath, she'd drawn, she'd gone underneath and drawn like a little um, person. <laughs> to show you tomorrow on my blackboard with chalk Matthew drew a little person years ago oh it's so cute I don't want to rub it out no <laughs> I would preserve the furniture I don't think Jennifer my auntie Jennifer did but um, it took out on the window frames and then tried to blame his little brother mm, I know I know you went all the way around the living room with crayons multiple times on the wall, Becky. Was that at Grandma's house? Mm. Hence, the learn on cleaning walls. Your lesson on cleaning walls was learned at about five years old. Oh, dear. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. Your brother went crazy when he was about four years old and put big purple crayon Zs for zero, zero uh, all over the house, furniture and everything. I know. And I, I know from doing the silk scarf, because I remember it now, the children, that they, they're so in the zone. And I'm so glad we're talking about this, because that's what I want us to be like when we're in our art. It, it's not a case of, oh, it's got to be right. It's got to be this. It's got to be that. Oh, let's... Let's just have fun and play. <laughs> oh, do. How do I do that during the week? I make I make a lot of like arty journal pages. Um, when I say arty, I mean messy. Hmm. Your dad was mischievous as your brother, and so antiques and fine furniture were not safe in your house. No, no, it, it isn't, is it? I oh, know, I know. Oh. We will find, I know, I'm not, I'm not saying, let's not um, draw on the walls unless you have a blackboard wall, <laughs> we do in the kitchen, um, but let's, Let's this week explore and try and find, find out in a child, that child who does art and doesn't think, what's it going to look like? Are other people going to see it? Other people don't need to see your art. <laughs> Jean, so nice to see you if you don't want them to. <laughs> So nice to see you, Jean. Come on in. I can just imagine you sitting there, you doing some of your lovely journaling that you do. There we are. And then just cut out this. And we've made a folio. A folio. A place. 
for the San Francisco zine to go in. If I'm missing you and you come in when I'm cutting something here, shout out to me again. Or maybe somebody in chat can say, Janet, you've missed such and such because I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm happy to be here doing my art, but I I do like the chatting. I, I, it's important for me. It really is to have this chatty time. It really is. It keeps me going because I've always had been live outside the house really and and had jobs and the schooling and where I've had a lot of contact with people. So this is just so nice. <laughs> mm. oh, Your mother painted a huge elephant mural on the wall once because she was mad at your grandmother. Oh, and it backfired. Your grandmother loved it. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, she was wonderful, your grandmother. You learned so much from her, the cooking and didn't you, Becky, Aunt Bex? Yes, yes. It's lovely to have two Beckys here as well. There's Jean. Good morning, Jean. And there's Kathy as well. Kathy C. Oh, come on in. So I will. This is great because I can open this up for some washing, do some doodling. And then with this portfolio, what I'm going to do on these pages is stick these together. These are all ready for me to play with. I, this is one of the things I like to do. I like to get things ready because I know that there's lots of times where I'm called away or, you know, we go through little rough patches. I know that on my desk, I've got things that I can pick up. I can pick up this folder and a glue stick and nip off around the, put that on a tray. And I'm just trying to reach, reach for what I was doing earlier. And I can go and make some envelopes, for instance. These are some, I was just making this earlier. Just making that one. Just sticking, really. Just playing. <laughs> ah, Kathy, so nice to see you. <laughs> so that's that. So yes, that will have. I I stick two of these pages together because it makes them stronger. The paper's quite thin. It depends on your book, really. And that will be a pocket there, like that. Stick that there like that. I have titled the page um, today, When Words Fail, Art Speaks. And I heard that in lovely Kathy Cow. Here she is. I'll just, I'll, I will write her, her screen down from yesterday afternoon. So relaxing. And someone had said that to you, haven't they, Cathy? And I just thought that's something lovely for us to ponder today. Um, when words fail, art speaks. It just fits in with a self-care sort of vibe that we want to have have going here. So, so it's I've got the folio. So that's this week's little in my. And a little pocket here, and then I will make a pocket on this side that goes opposite, <laughs> as it were. So that's my altered book for this week. <laughs> right, I'm now going to put that there. Have I shown everything in it? I think I have. I think I have. What else have I been doing this week? Oh, there was this other lovely picture. And I wanted to look at that. That was from Susan. It's Freddie. <laughs> it's a tea party. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to stick that on a page next to Kat's teacup page. So I pop that down there. So that's lovely. I, 
all the time I'm setting myself up. Did I show you? I, I think I distracted myself in chat. I was going to show you the wonderful flow that, that Becky made me. Isn't it gorgeous? It's full of, so a flow journal is, I can take it and it's, it's based on stationery really. So I can, I can take pages out of this and I'm going to use it to make little notes to send to people. So that's lovely. Thank you. So that goes in there. I'm loving that. Thank you very much, Becky W. <laughs> oh dear. Isn't it lovely? Um, with the, Freddie at the tea party. I thought that'll go nice. He's looking out of the window. <laughs> We've had our morning walk already because of because of course, if you're new, it's afternoon here. I think. This is a wonderful time to say that we're thinking we're thinking of lots of people. Just before I change gear and do some something in another journal, I'm thinking of Dee Dee today and how she's been pulled away to Texas and how we've got her in our hearts and. We've got lovely Trudy in the background. We've got Trudy in our hearts and Teresa and her husband. Mm. <laughs> that would make a great story, wouldn't it? Um, little pickles. <laughs> oh, the adventures of Freddie. <laughs> let's let's um let's just light a little candle. Just once this. Just... Oh, that's it. Mm, sit ourselves back, make sure that our shoulders aren't tensed up and leaning over. Let's, you've got people in your hearts. I don't need to mention pe people by name. For them to be in your heart, in your prayers, whatever you do. Let's light a little candle for them. There we are. Make sure we take some nice deep breaths as well. Kathy's already had a busy morning. She's got something in the crock pot already. We call that the slow cooker, don't we, Julia? <laughs> and towels on the line. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. But for all those that haven't got a lot done, don't worry. <laughs> you be you. <laughs> well done, Kathy. That's wonderful. It's always so satisfying, isn't it, to have the washing done. Mm. I'm going to blow this candle out so we can be relaxed, but that I'm not going to set anything alight. Paula, so nice to see you. Paula, yes, you're from Portugal. Welcome, Paula, into the chat. We've been chatting in comments, haven't we? So nice to see you. It, it's afternoon in Portugal. Good afternoon from Freddie and myself and the chat and all the replay is so nice you're tea dyeing and you're making a mess hooray <laughs> gail um is saying hi to paula and kathy and it's so nice to see you <laughs> come on in paula so nice to see you i had talking of kathy c in chat isn't that lovely I saw you make that on your stream. I love your, I love the fabric and I love the texture. It's a little postcard, a postcard to say how much Kathy appreciates me. That's lovely, Kathy. Thank you so much. We're going to, I find myself making an autumn journal. 
I'm not going to put it together and sew it up because it's it's going to fit in my one that I've got going already, just in the back. But I'm using the envelopes that people have sent me. And have I put a page? I've put a page in here already. Oh, I cut this out. Oh, it's painty paper, but it's got all oh, like a little suitcase. I thought, oh, that'll make a nice pocket. And look what I've received this week. All these ATCs, so I made with napkins and book pages, like a little pocket. Look at these lovely ATC coins. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you're going to make a hoodie hug pattern. Oh, will you be making that in fleecy material? How lovely. Mm. It's half past two in Portugal. Mm. Your Oh, and you're working. And oh, yes, we'll keep you company, Paula. Um, yes, let's keep you company. Mm. Keely. Yes, you're trying to just lurk, but man, you're all making me hungry. Oh, it could be snack time soon and you'll be even more hungry. Kelly, is this your first time in a live in chat? Keely, sorry, Keely. So nice to meet you. A mini hobby by Keely. Oh, that's a lovely channel name. We always end up talking about food, Keely. <laughs> now, I don't want to make you feel you have to enter chat but um do tell us where you're from we, we're a worldwide community here barbara barbara g it's so nice to see you i i was literally thinking of you this morning thinking because i look over the comments from the week and i, I, like, I like to focus on the stream i thought um did i see Barbara G last week. I hope she's okay. And no, never any pressure. Never any pressure. Nettie, good morning. So nice to see you. What have you missed? Soon? No. You haven't missed anything. Good afternoon. You haven't missed the tea and the biscuits. So you're fine. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. We're being very gentle with ourselves. We're starting the week how we mean to go on. Isn't that right? <laughs> I've got an ATC coin. This one is from Lovely Beth. Such an autumnal theme going on here. Sorry about that for you in Australia, where it's spring. <laughs> and this one is from Melody. Isn't that lovely? I'm loving the spring, the autumny sort of vibe to this and i've got a little owl family there from janice isn't this a super collection yeah as long as you don't miss mug of the day you're fine yes jean's just here to see which mug i have oh and you won't be disappointed it's a mug you haven't seen before jean <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> oh Oh, Keely says, thank you for all the, um, Keely, I might, sometimes I look down at what I'm doing and I might have missed where you're from, Janice. It, your, your ATC fits in here so cosily. <laughs> it's just fun napkin stuff over book pages. I love napkins over book pages. So there's, I'm not pressurizing myself to say oh i'm going oh i need to make an autumn journal or mm, you're in texas ah oh, good morning rebecca's in texas too but i don't think you might not know rebecca personally because i know that texas is huge i think you can fit well you can you can fit britain England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales into Texas. <laughs> it's a big old place, isn't it? Mm. It's been an it's been an up and down week here with hubby. Yeah, yeah. You had your first frost on Saturday. Yeah. Barbara G. Yeah, you're not never any pressure, but you're not far from my thoughts. Yeah. I thought it was something like that. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
Rebecca says, hi, fellow Texan. <laughs> nice to meet you, Keely. Very huge. It is very huge, isn't it? Mm. So, yes. So that's what that's what I've done this week in my in my journal. My autumn journal folio. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. And I'll be putting this making a pocket to put this lovely postcard from Kathy because that's got a lovely autumn feel. I'm going to be planting some bulbs this week. I do like to plant bulbs. It's because sometimes they don't come up again, do they? So I like to make sure that I plant some. I was very intrigued by the packet that they came in as well. I'm quite liking this. I might use it as some sort of cover. And then again, I might use it on the gel plate. Ooh, we could use it on the gel plate. And then use it as a cover. Let's do that. Let's do some gel plates. Yes. Mm. Yes, let's play, let's play. Have you, Becky, have you noticed behind me the, my Tunisian, is that key? It would make a nice jumper, wouldn't it? <laughs> a bit short, maybe. Oh. Yeah, it would. Anyway, it's it's a bag. This, this is my Tunisian crochet squares from Aunt Bex Creations. Um, stitch along, crochet along. I'm being a good girl. I'm putting my apron on. Oh, that's what it is, Janet. You mentioned you liked the colourful crochet behind you. Oh, gal, I'm so sorry. I missed that. Thank you, Janet USA. Journey, good morning. Mm. I know Becky W. Packaging and, and junk mail is a great art resource. I agree. I think we do that a lot don't we <laughs> modeling the bag <laughs> so i'm going to put the handle on it today <laughs> there's aunt that you're working up something on your last stitch you learned oh are you becky oh intrigued are you going to tell us now or or is it a surprise there's a link i will put yes i'll put a link for that in yes <laughs> paula love Love loves to crochet. Did you were you telling me in comments, Paula, that you're just teaching yourself to crochet, or have I got that wrong? Because I, I yes, I taught myself during lockdown, and I'm absolutely loving it. I don't, I don't quite know how to follow a pattern. I just tend to. Um, follow YouTube to tour it to tutorial so I've got the link for that the bag link as well that's in one of my playlists actually I've got a playlist called crochet and where I've got some videos yes mm. Mm. yes happy Canadian Thanksgiving yes yes let's get the gel out shall we and play <laughs> at this time of year because it's spring for me, I can. I do apologise. I do apologise. For the loud um, That that was the roller rolling off. There, here it is. Oh, it rolled off. As my dad would have said, I do hope that didn't knock you off your perch. Mm. You have so much crochet cotton. Oh yes, Leslie got some of that crochet cotton that you you get. Um, the American sort. What's it the make called? Oh, and it's so soft. I love it. Just going for some, getting some autumn colours here. I can't resist when I go out bringing back leaves and that's finding out our, our inner child now if you can't hi Shelley so nice to see you mm. so nice to see you 
Now, I am no expert, but one thing I do love is to play. <laughs> and I think by playing, you experiment and you learn things. Hopefully, you can remember. I'm just going to roll the sleeves up in the card in. Just got some lovely autumn. If you can't get out, you could download some autumn pictures or what else could you do? Cut some up at magazines, maybe. Cut some pictures out of magazines. I think sometimes the supermarkets have free magazines. Okay, that's that. And I'm going to pop some leaves on here. This is finding your inner child, isn't it? Because isn't this what this is what we did when we were little? Bringing things home, conkers in our pockets. Sam, Sam used to bring. There was a crab apple tree at school, and he used to bring the crab apples home <laughs> in his little pockets. One time we made crab apple jelly. He thought he'd made it all, but oh my goodness! Can you? Oh, Taking all the little bits out of the tiny little crab apples. Gorgeous, though. And we literally just got a ramekin dish full. Delicious, though. Mm. Isn't it? Did, did grandma used to make crab apple jelly? I haven't made it since. It is, it is delicious. Let's see. Oh, that's just that. Let's see if I can get these to print off. Oh, yes. Oh. Isn't nature amazing? Oh, wow. Oh, 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 sorry, I'm missing chat. Oh, goodness. Just, just gorgeous. That's, oh, isn't they beautiful? The veins on the leaves. Every day, because I'm lucky enough to be able to get out and go outside and Take Freddie out for a walk. Yeah. Mm. Right. So I do hope I'm not missing too much in chat. Um, I could let that dry, but it would be, I think it would be nice to just take a print of it. Because you. I think one lets it dry and then builds up layers. But there's Joni. <laughs> Monday, Joni. Mm. The pigs love all the pulp. Oh, when you've made the apples, then you take it to the pigs. Oh, right, yes. Aren't they? Isn't nature amazing? And I just bought some conkers home just to show you, just to have on the desk. It, it, I love it. Because you have to pick them up, don't you? They've already lost that shine. Oh, mm, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Nature is amazing. Speaking of aprons, no, we weren't. But since um, ruining many a shirt, you've been thinking of wearing an apron or smock when crafting and videoing. Who wears an apron or smock when crafting? Bootsy is asking the chat. Mm. Well, yes, it's because you just lean forward and look at this cardigan. My friend bought me this from a charity shop, but it's got white cuffs. I need I need little cuffs like they used to wear when they were doing printing. I don't think I have to do so much burnishing, but I was just enjoying doing it. So... Ah, oh, it's Whisk and Goose Shannon. I didn't see you come in. No, Rhonda, Rhonda. Sorry, it's Rhonda. Come on in. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come and rest with us a while. And there we are. I already had something on here. Isn't that? Isn't that lovely? Isn't that gorgeous? Let me show you what Flo has here. Do you mind, Flo, darling, if I show people? Is that dry already? Yes, I think it is. Do you mind? She's got a little paintbrush. 
and she's got some a new set of paints. Now, somebody in chat, I was listening, they shared, okay, I'm not going to say who it is just in case you don't want me to share it. Um, and I, I, I went to follow them, I'm going to get some, uh, my, some water. Uh, I went to follow them and I noticed they had videos. And on her video, she recommended these watercolour paints and they are made in England or Britain, I'm not quite sure where they're made, uh, but you know, locally for locally for us. So that really does cut down on the price. And they're metallic. They're made of they're handmade paints, and that I'm getting oh that's where that is. Getting paint on them. Let me just oh red oh lovely. Excuse me. Waste that. Mm, lovely. Let's get some. Get to wet wipe. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Kiwi. <laughs> you have these, yes. Ah, oh, they're, they're lovely. And then I've heard Carol talk about um, honey based paints. So, I, because they're British, it, it makes it a little bit more affordable for us. Yes, mm. you, you do love shiny. And let me show you how they shine when um, this is just a gel print. And can the shine on there, the gold and the purple, ooh, it's from, it's from these paints. And here's another one. It's very strong, isn't it? And I did some splashes as well. So I was just coming in here. Flo, you've been doing some testers. Happy Ray sent this little book. Oh, you've been swatching, have you? Oh, lovely. Really lovely. Flo likes to play with paints. Hmm. Isn't it lovely and shiny? I, I'm, I'm not sure whether they're always that shiny, or is it because Flo adds her fairy dust to it? I don't know. I love Becca. Isn't it pretty? I'm sure you have equivalents in the States. And I'm just going to, and they're very creamy because they're honey based. I had, I had heard about these before and looked into handmade paints, but not found these. So I'm just, I'm just playing now, adding, adding some little dots and swirls. Oh, look, maybe swirls. You know I do like swells to here. And let's, maybe they shine more when they, oh gosh. And that's just that pearlescent one. But when it's on there, it looks like gold. Can you see the gold swirls? So I'm going to have great fun. Honey watercolours. Hmm. Oh, did you get? Did your internet go, Joni? Oh, that's not fun when that happens. So I just wanted to share share that with you. We're going to be having so much fun with those, aren't we? Let's not waste any. Let's just put some on there. Oh my goodness. It comes up gold, doesn't it? It doesn't look gold. Goodness, let me just show you again. Oh, how lovely. Oh, I was going to do some jelly printing on there, but oh, and won't that be lovely because you'll get the, the pattern of that on as well. Oh, let's just do that before we have snack. And then we can let it dry and pull it at the end. Thanks for showing us those. Um, thank you. There we are. Lovely. Right, let's put some... Let's put some, oh, I know what I wanted to do. Who was doing this? Inking on the gel plate. I've got my little dragonfly here that I carved. Oh, on the title I said I was going to carve. And I didn't. I could do that tomorrow. Yeah, 
Freddie heard the word, didn't he? I know, he knows, he knows, he knows. So what, I know Tan Tanya Maguire, and I've been meaning to do it, stamping on the gel plate. I've got brown stays on ink, so that should be fine. Just want to have a little dragonfly on it. Oh, it didn't come out. Okay. Well, I will experiment with doing that. It's probably because I've just oiled it. Is that why it's not coming out? Maybe you need to do it with the paint. Hmm. Right, okay. Let's let's do one of these. I will experiment. Hmm. <laughs> let's make time. <laughs> we we know what you mean, as our lovely Beth says. Um she knows we know tighter leaves. Let's get this as a roll off. Mm. Oh, lovely. Oh, should we have this just because we can? Just a little dash of pepper. No, a little dash. A little dash of red. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> there we are. Put that over there. Oh, lovely. I'm sort of making my own orange there. Lovely. That's got some more, but I will do that in a minute. Right, what are we going to put down? What have we got? I've got the conch bit there. Just to make some marks. It's lovely just to make marks. I've still got the pomegranate that I, oh, I know what I have to make marks with. My coffee cup from the week. Ah, oh, lovely. That was on Saturday. People know me well. They know that, um, lovely, making a background. And then I'm going to put the leaves on. They said, Ben and Sam, they always say, oh, do you want to save this, Mum? <laughs> There we are. If I stamp the dragonfly like that. Oh, okay, that sort of comes out. Hmm. Oh, and then I can stamp it down. Oh, that's lovely. And I would imagine you have to clean that. Have I got, I don't know where the wet one is. Right, let's just do this. Hmm. Marty's here. I'm running late, aren't I? Yes, Marty's right. Fetch snacks, healthy snacks, treaty snacks from the trolley. <laughs> Marty, you, you're, you're just right. I could do the stamp carving. I'll do that next week because I have a plan for my little video next week. Uh, next week, tomorrow, already. Mm, so that's that. It it had dried quite a lot already, but that's fine. Oh, I'm not quite sure whether you heard that, but that was my tummy rumbling. My tummy would like a snack. Oh, lovely. So I'm going to let that dry, and then we'll pull that up later. So again, I didn't use that. I can use that in a week. I used the leaves instead, didn't I? Oh, what am I like? Have we seen Beth yet today? When Beth comes in, I want to thank her for my little heart of love. <laughs> right, let's pop that to dry and we'll pull that up later, shall we? <laughs> oh, there's the wet wipe. I got carried away. I meant to do stamping. See, this is what it's like. We're just, just playing. We're just gentle art. Mm. Yes, I know. We're trained. <laughs> so is Freddie. Look, he's he's waiting. He is very patient, actually. <laughs> oh, made a lovely print on my hand. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm trying to get that off now. <sighs> and breakfast time for a lot of you. Mm. Oh, look. <laughs> I know. Look at him. More coffee for Nettie. 
Is it snack time, Freddie? Do you want a snack? Oh, my head's moving. <laughs> I'm full decorated. I know, Keely. <laughs> what am I like? Let's get snacked, shall we? I love that, that I just, we just get carried away. I've got the biscuit tin with me. And I did say to Sam, could you save two of these biscuits so I can share them with the stream? Just two. I don't think that's asking too much. Let's hope there is some. Yes. Who goes to the biscuit tin or the cookie jar? Hello, darling. Who goes to the cookie jar and it's empty? Nice. <laughs> Freddie first, of course. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Marty, for all the snacks. We're giving you a little snack as well. <laughs> oh, I've got a biscuit in here for you. <laughs> Here's little Tom. And have one at the end as well. We started a new little routine, haven't we? Yeah, finished now, Freddie. I put it up there. That's finished. You can go and sit back up now. Hmm? Unless you need a drink, and then you go and fetch yourself a drink. <laughs> oh dear. Waves to all, Safia. Good afternoon. You can always rely on Safia to come in when it's tea and biscuit time. I'm afraid it's not Yorkshire tea, um, Safia. <laughs> oh dear. It's it's licorice and peppermint. <laughs> I do have herbal tea sometimes, but most of the time, am I? Are you like that, um, Safia? Most of the time, I have English breakfast with milk in. Mm. If you have, if you're in the states and you have an English person to to stay, it's probably good to get some milk in because I know. Generally speaking, you don't have milk in your tea. Earl Grey here, twinings, of course. Oh, yes, I have twinings in because um, oh, I lost the, I lost the, I lost the plot. I lost the thing. Um, because my friend Leslie with honey, come and sit up here, darling. Look, come and sit up because people love to see you. Come and sit up here. Take a seat, please. Take a little seat, please. No, I don't want to. That's it. Don't worry. <laughs> there we are. It's a very large... Lipton's was all your grandmother had. Lipton's tea. I remember that. You like English tea time or Earl Grey. I haven't heard of Bigelow. I haven't heard of that. Um, oh, it's a very interesting question, Rhonda. Yes, when you're using tea leaves, you have the milk in the bottom of the cup. And then you have a strainer and you pour the tea from a teapot. When you're making it with a bag, you want the water to be as hot as possible to infuse the tea. I'm not putting milk with this because it's a herbal tea, but... And then you add the milk. So <laughs> two different answers there from a, a British person. <laughs> you have herbal tea in, in, this morning, lemongrass. How lovely with a splash of lemon juice. Very cleansing for you. Can you see Fred's face there? Let me just move my glorious lot of fussy cutting there. I use the term fussy cutting loosely. Then now you can see Freddie. Hmm. You're going to watch the rest on replay, Sherry. You've got errands. Yes, yes. Oh, Sherry, thank you. So kind. So kind of you. You've never had lemon tea. I like lemon and ginger, Jean. Oh, Jean, cup of the day. Isn't it cute? The little cat's peering down, upside down. Isn't it cute? Cheryl, just in time. Get yourself a nice coffee. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. No, I don't have sugar or any. These are not 
um, teas with sugar in or anything like that. No. Mm. <laughs> Very wise, Becky. <laughs> Ruth E, welcome, welcome. You're just in time for snack time. I hope that you get it's a kitty cup. I know. Hello, kitty cup. Now I've got, I meant to look this up because I know you'll ask. Sophia, you might know. These these are, and Sue, Sue Hennessy, you still there? Um and English British replays, Gary Baldy biscuits, classic British biscuit. Ooh, he did, he left me three. <laughs> oh, yes, honey in tea is nice. Mm. Oh, Amber, especially when you've got a sore throat. Hi, Amber, so nice to see you. Come on in, come on in. Mm. Um, oh, Carol, take care, take care. Hmm. And you take care too. Share it. And it's lovely. It's got a bit of a snap like that. And it's got currants in. It's a delicious biscuit and it, it's a good dunker. It's a, so that's the biscuit tin. It's got it's very large. It's only got two biscuits in there now. You bought those biscuits on Amazon. Oh, they're lovely. Is that what did I mention them before, Anne? Because they are a particular favourite. They're not one that you get very often. You forget about them. And then, oh, I think on the British Bake Off, they were making fresh Gary Baldies. You dip it in. Mm. 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 <laughs> Sue's there. Mm -hmm. Sue says, yes, lovely biscuit. I'm just going to put that on top of the biscuit tin because I won't eat in front of you. <laughs> I won't talk with my mouth full. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Mm. And there's Marilyn. So nice to see you. And it is about the feel of a mug and the size of a mug. Sometimes you just feel like a large mug especially if you've got hot chocolate or something. Mm. You're a coffee drinker, says Ruth. You're having tea and coffee. Oh, lovely. Mm. And we have lots of tea drinkers and coffee drinkers. I have coffee in the mornings. Mm. We have elevenses, don't we? There's the biscuits. Mm. Is that how to make them? Is that my challenge to make homemade Gary Baldy biscuits? And who is Gary Baldy? <laughs> so, did um, coffee with your toast in the mornings? Um, so, yeah, I love coffee and toast. I, I had some earlier with honey. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's to order them on Amazon. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, you had the... Oh, the... You, you receive your cookie biscuit <laughs> zine. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm so glad it arrived. <laughs> Squat, thank you, Sophia. Sophia's, I distracted myself. Sophia's come in. In Britain, when we were growing up, and I don't know whether they do now, we call them, let me show people again. <laughs> they are terrible. They're called squash fly biscuits. because. It looks like squash fly. Has that put you off now? Good morning, Tina. You came in just as I was describing these biscuits. <laughs> oh, Prulie's recipe. That will be, thanks, Becky. That will be from the um, mm. peppermint cocoa. That sounds nice. You're getting that um, Christmassy, cozy vibe. Mm. <laughs> mm. Coffee and biscuits. <laughs> Fly cemetery biscuits, says Julia. Oh dear. What do we like? Ah, oh dear. So good afternoon, Sylvia. So nice to see you. Sylvia's over there in France. So nice to see you. We're gently arting today. We were meant to be doing a lot of things, but we chatted, played with paint and our journal and we're not putting pressure on ourselves. <laughs> we 
today we're thinking about our saying is when words fail, art speaks. Mm. <laughs> No, that's true. It, I looked up ordering candy corn because we don't have candy corn, and I know you have it in the have that in the states, but it, it is it is hard for us to have the same things sometimes. I know, I know. You just have to imagine, <laughs> and you've got your own a little bit like a fig. Tastes a little bit like a fig Newton, probably. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, my dad used to say that, Becky. You was said you drink that up. That it, it wouldn't be coffee, but it'd say you drink that up. That soup, it'll put hairs on your chest. And I just said, but Daddy, I don't want hairs on my chest. <laughs> Amber says um, the Victorian Earl Grey you use is from Simpsons. Simpsons and Vale. How lovely. That sounds like a lovely shop. shop. Is it a department store? Hmm. You're going to try it. It's from Lidl. Um, so you probably be able to get this in the States. Where's the packet? Um, what are you done with it? I oh, it's just like when you're streaming, it's like chaos all around you. Peppermint and licorice tea, it's from Lidl. So yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Right, let's see, what has, what has Blondie Lovegrove, who believed in the power of the written word of the pen and her wonderful companion, Felicity Hartfelt, who believed in the power of love. They have been zooming around on their amazing hot air balloon all around the world, almost like time travel. It's magic. They've been to India already, but they got to Venice and they thought they've been there for about two or three weeks now because they, they enjoyed it. They've been to many parties. They've been to the mast masked balls and they they thought yes it's all very well to do this world traveling but let's stay in one place for a while so they got they got themselves a room overlooking St Peter's Square and because they're taking that time for themselves Blondell is starting to write in her journal and have an amazing time. She's still going to the mast balls. There she is in the mast and she's been buying glass. She got herself onto a, a, a small boat and went to, an, went to an island just off Venice, because Venice, it's made up of lots of tiny little islands. She went to the island of Marino, and there, historically, they make beautiful blue glass. So that's what she's been up to. And she found that in her journal, not just her magic suitcase, that her journal had magic properties in too. She'd been seeing the ladies with their parasols she, she wanted one but she thought how am I going to carry all these things but when it's in here it, it's magically the right size for traveling she's got she bought herself a parasol isn't that gorgeous just to keep that sun from her her face and it sits in there nicely. And of course, when she wants to use it, she just taps it and magically it becomes the right size. So there she is. <laughs> oh dear. So this is my boho journal. And this is this is the story of Blondell and how she travels all around the world and it's set in 1890. 
So that I'll pop that there. And I have more happy mail, but I'm going to share that in my video tomorrow. And I'm going to share, yes, yes. Yes, it's a case of slowing down, I think. Slowing down. This is a case in point. I had a whole list of things on the title that I wanted to do, but no, it's it's important to just slow down and breathe, isn't it? Trudy, I hope that you've got someone there that can get you a nice, unless you've fallen asleep. And if you've fallen asleep, that is lovely. And don't feel you have to chat. I'm just saying, I wonder what your favourite biscuit is. And I hope that as you're relaxing gently in the background, that you've got someone there to get you a cup of tea or whatever beverage you want to have. Whatever beverage is good for your, your head at the moment. There's candy. Is it natural lip? Yes, I remember that from when Ben had blood pressure problems. Yes, it's really good. I'm glad you mentioned that, Candy. You're not you're not meant to have lip crash um, if you have blood pressure problems. Thanks for mentioning that, um, Candy. Look at this. I've been I've been adding and shuffling and I don't know. Did I put last week's in there? Back in by mistake. Let's shuffle it. Let's do some prompts. Mm. Yeah, Barbara G says, yeah, black licorice can raise blood pressure if it's eaten in excess. So well, let's just be careful. Yes, yes. Didn't they used to say, Barbara G, everything in moderation. <laughs> that's not always easy. Oh, that's what Shannon says too. Yeah. Oh, no, you're saying, oh, Shannon's saying, oh, no, I want to eat licorice. Or maybe just a little. Mm. Yeah. I'm shuffling these. This is a, a case in point. Um, the, the prompts are literally just to help us relax. Mm. Ginger snacks. Oh, yes. Mm. Most candy licorice is a fake. Be the label. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Right, natural licorice you get from them. Well, my dad said he used licorice. They used to have, especially during the war, that in the sweet shops, they used to just have apples because they couldn't get sweets in. And also they used to have licorice at the plant. It's like a stick. And they used to have, some in some old-fashioned sweet shops, like at the seaside, you can still get, get them in. It's a stick and you chew on it. Yeah, for the flavour. Mm. The Dutch salty one, that sounds delicious. Mm. Right, prom book. Here's my magazine book. Oh, it's drying. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> it's drying. That's it. Oh, a page is drying. Oh, that's where the ruler is. Are you like me? You're always losing things. This morning I got... What's the ruler? Oh, I had another one. I bought these wooden rulers back when I was clearing out from some were my mum's, some were mine when I was little. Another wooden ruler. <laughs> Janet loves the salty one. You Ruth E says she used to chew on sugar cane. The same sort of thing, isn't it? Yes, yes. Put that there. Just going to show you. This is from Becky is doing a series. I'm going to link Becky so um, in the description box below. Becky is doing every week doing the colours of the rainbow in a journal, and I'm using my prompt book. Last week she did red, and this week she did orange, and seriously. Like, oh, I had a food magazine from, Leslie bought me from Waitrose. Mm. 
Oh, you don't like anything with Anis. Yeah. Mm. Um, Rebecca. And seriously, this this is pure play and enjoyment. I just love making the orange page, Becky. I did one of the borders. And this, I've made like little pockets. And these tags were in my happy mail from Janice. Are you still there or have you gone to work? Did I miss you? Look how wonderful these are. I've got purple ones. That's how they came. And I've embellished them to make them all to me. This is things that were inside Janice's happy mail for me to play with. <laughs> yes, it's just pure play, Keely. <laughs> I did have fun. Autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. Oh, that's interesting. I put that on there, probably didn't even read it. Oh. Autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. Oh, that's interesting. And, and I made little pockets. Here's the person with their pumpkin and on their plate, what have they got? Oh, it's just the little tag from the paint set, but there's a little spider. It's fabric that I put on the plate that's hiding. And, oh, there's one up here. What's this one? Oh, that's just like a little tag. That one says, October's poplars are flaming torches lighting the way to winter. That's by Nova S. Blair. Mm. <laughs> And that goes in there, like so. And then I've got one more. The little chicken is hiding behind the carrot. Because <laughs> it's harvest time, isn't it? Um, we're harvesting. I haven't written anything on that one yet. Because I literally just did that one yesterday. So I take my page and I, I just cut with scissors where I'm going. And I, I make the pockets in the back make the pockets is so they've got so that's I, I saved it like this to show you so you cut it and you can see that's where that little tag is and then you just glue glue around that <laughs> ah, yes it all oh, hasn't the, so let me just glue this pocket on and I'm going to use this page today <laughs> for the prompts Big size from Freddie. There we are. So yeah, that just goes, so you leave the top and then you just put that over like that. There we are. So, so it's got a pocket. <laughs> Good morning, cat. So nice to see you. Happy Monday to you too. So nice to see you. <laughs> These Mondays, they come round quickly, don't they? I'm just going to put some gesso on a page. Find yourself a page or you can do yours on a postcard. Or don't do it at all. Do your own thing. <laughs> just relax with us for a while. Mm. There we are. So if you haven't, if it's your first time here, the prompts, I just thought this would make a nice texture. These, the backs of the pockets would make a nice texture. And if we've got paint, I thought that would make a nice, interesting. I've done the, Page fold over, and I've left it with that part of the. I made these last week, didn't I? So we can tuck things on, and then when that's finished, I can take off the sticky tape. What do we call it? A thick washi that we made. There we are. Lovely. Now, the prompts, if you haven't been before, we. We pick out randomly. We pick six and then we just do some art. You can do them in the order I pull them. You can say, 
I'm not doing that, I'm doing this. <laughs> Do what makes you feel happy, definitely. Mm. Have a good day, Rhonda. So nice to see you. You take care. Take care. Thank you so much for coming in. Always nice to see you. I'm not looking, so it's a surprise to me. And then sometimes you haven't you haven't got um you haven't got some of the prompts, say, but we had an elephant one time and then it was fun just spending a whole week looking for elephants and in the craft room. One, two, three, four, five, six. We pick six prompts. Mm. Here we are. And it's just, this is just nice. The reason I do this is it's just lovely to spend time with one another. We can chat. Mostly, I'm going to chat and relax. <laughs> Right, um, let's pick a prompt. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl, that's so kind of you. Right, make a snippet roll on paper or fabric. Make a snippet roll. Oh, how wonderful, because I, I sort of got a snippet roll there. But I'm going to do it again because I love doing it so much. Oh, wow, make a snippet roll with fabric. On paper. Wow. I love making snippet rolls with slow stitching, but I'm going to make one like this. I'm going to make a, a short one. I'm going to put some tape down. Make a snippet roll. Wow. So many, there's no right or wrong way to do this oh no Shannon oh it's when our animals aren't well it affects us so much doesn't it they yeah they're our mm. um Brenda A nice to see you if I missed you in chat and you're chatting there oh so nice to see you so sorry if I'm missing you if I'm I am missing you. Mm. You're all oh, Paula, so nice to see you. I'm so glad you got to a live and thank you so much for um, your lovely comments. I do love it. Mm. Mm. Thanks, Jean. Thank you, Jean. So nice to see you. Right. Um, so nice that you're back home and you're doing your art journaling and it's lovely it's lovely to see you oh Vanessa Vanessa thank you Vanessa's popped in the prompt so nice to see you are you feeling any better today look I've got my little pot of bits here now if you're sitting at the sewing machine you can make it's so funny that we had this last week didn't we we were making this last week. Maybe that's when I put snippet roll in, but I think I probably would have done it different. This is, we called this washi last week, didn't we? Not a, not a snippet roll. We get caught up in the language that we create for ourselves, don't we? <laughs> this is what I find myself making when I get that prompt. <laughs> I'd like to say there's no right or wrong. I think. It's just nice if you're feeling that your art is helping you to be relaxed. Yes, yeah. I've got various lots of like rolls of fabric and bandages. You can put, Journey, you make nice snippet rolls, don't you? But for the minute, because I'm here relaxing with you i'm going to do it this way <laughs> little snippets and then you can put other things on it too i've got my pot of bits and this is what i'm going to be using tomorrow tomorrow you'll need for our video you'll need you'll need a little pot of bits and you will need I've got a key there. 
that would be lovely to put on there. Oh, look at that, a little, little threads. Let's put that on. And some scraps of paper, small scraps of dyed paper, scrapbook paper. And we're going to make something with those in the process video. So we spend that a little bit of extra time together. Just putting that cotton on there, like that. I'm getting all sticky fingers now, just as I can. There we are. I'm not looking at chat now while I'm doing that because I think that took so much to get that little scrap put down. <laughs> what have I missed? There's Brenda A. Um, Brenda A, you've been sharing, and I miss that completely. You've been, you've been, you've had a sad time. I can, you're still rough. I, I hear what you're saying. I, I, I haven't got the whole gist of it, but I presume you're talking about your furry, furry um, friend that, uh, oh, yes, that. They're just part of the family, aren't they, Brenda? It really, oh, it's hard. Mm, sending you love, Brenda. Mm. Yeah, really not easy. Mm. Um, am I getting the wrong end of the stick here? Um, Are we talking about losing a child and, and uh, because wow, my thoughts really do go out to you, Brenda. Yes, wow. A son, thank you, Marty. Thank you. Yes, thank you keep me in that sort of loop. Yeah, I know, Shannon. You've got people here with you, and thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's time to stop. It's time to sort our priorities out. We're here to art, but we're here to hold one another up as well. And that, our art helps us do that when words fail. Art speaks. I'm just going to hold that up. I'm going to blow this candle out, but it doesn't mean to say that we're not holding you in our prayers, Brenda, particularly. Um... Now, we're doing, let's continue with our art as we hold you up. And we're going to, we, we'll, we'll do some art because you might not feel like doing art. There's lots of reasons why we can't, we don't feel like doing art. And sometimes I'm going to be doing the art and we're going to be doing the art. So, you don't have to, you don't have to do that. You can just be with us, just be with us. Good morning, Jasper. Come on in, come on in, Jasper, dear. You are so welcome here. <laughs> I love it, come on in. We spent some time together. Now, just because I'm moving on, it doesn't mean to say that we, we've forgotten what we we've, we've shared we're we're moving on we we're, we're doing our art and we're just hmm, spending this time together 
Mm. It's really wonderful to, you're telling the chat more about, and me, more about your son. Mm. Well, Brenda, be kind to yourself. I think the word need is a very harsh word if you need to do something. No, I think you need to take care of yourself and when the time is right for you, you will, you will be able to do some very simple art again. Maybe just with a few scraps, scripts and scraps, or a page that just doesn't make sense. I think maybe you, we find ways to help our art express our feel, feelings. Mm. Yes, that's what we're here for, isn't it, Safia? We're here to share our art and our lives together because I think it's in sharing that you realise that uh, we do feel quite alone sometimes and then in chatting we sometimes find that other people are going through the same and if other people aren't going through the same or yeah, we need to hold one another up. Thank you, Alicia. Oh, thank you, Alicia. And we do it in different ways. Alicia is, is what I call our prayer fairy. She really is. And I say that in a nice, a complimentary way. And other people, like me, like to say I'm holding you in my heart and lighting a candle. We all have a different way, don't we? Mm. Hello, Mar Mar uh, Miriam. Miriam, all the way from Israel. I oh, love it. We love this worldwide community. Mm. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, you're watching and you may find a little something that you feel that you can do from being here with us. But the main thing is be kind to yourself, yeah. So don't want to have too many expectations of ourselves, do we? Now, that was the first prompt, and that was make a snippet roll. And I interpreted that and made some washi. I don't know. It's snippets. There are no rights and wrongs. Let me just find a little something to put on here. Here's some little piece of washi from, that was from Beth. So let's not put it on upside down. I've just got a little snippet roll. It's got a little key and a dragonfly and that. <laughs> and what when I say that, I mean stamp with a little bird on. Mm. Oh, yes, Marty. Mm. Oh, you, ha you haven't seen um, Miriam for a while. It's nice, you're, Ruth, you're meeting up again. This, this one I won't sew because it's on, it's on sticky tape. Um, uh, but um, I do have I do have cotton and I love to sit on the little machine behind me here and make snippet rolls with snippets of fabric. Oh, I love it. So relaxing. So relaxing. I won't stick that on now because I don't know where this page is going. Yes, and I like to slow stitch as well. It just depends how I feel <laughs> on the day. Let's have another prompt. Scrape paint. This this one is for this prompt is for our lovely Kimberly. Scrape paint. So let's pop some paint on here. And I think as we scrape it, it's going to go over all these lovely envelopes and bits and pieces. It's the same paint I've had out because we're feeling autumn, autumn aren't we? Mm. 
snippet rolls, Miss Kimberly, a very therapeutic, just gluing scraps or sewing scraps. You know, yes. Because, see, it's not something you can say, oh, it's wrong. There is no right or wrong. There's Jasper with some lovely hellos for, for people. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You're off to Hobbycraft tomorrow. Oh, wonderful. Are you going for anything in particular? Some fabric, because I know you're making slow stitch fabric butterflies, aren't you, Sue? Well, those are the curtains. Are you making curtains? Oh, spray paint. I like to rotate the prompts, but I always put this one back because that was therapeutic. Mm. This is Freddie. Yes, there's Freddie there. <laughs> oh, dear. There. So let's have another prompt. Lace. Oh, lace. I've got some here. I've got some here. Because I was using lace on the packaging. I put lace on the packaging from those bulbs. I put lace on there and used my vintage sewing machine. <laughs> mm. Thank you so much. Um, that's so helpful. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. And Pam. <laughs> Oh, there we are. Oh, use lace. How am I going to use that? Could I just use, this is what I do when, when we say goodbye and then we go to Rebecca's. I sit here with this prompt page. Last week I sat here with more tea and biscuits or cake and I, I love working on the prompt page. So I'm going to put my snippet roll and my lace there. And this is all to work on. And then, of course, you, you've seen I like to come in with doodling. And mm, there's Angie. So nice to see you. You can't stay. You're busy. But it's always nice to see you, Angie. Ah, oh, a nice little heart for you there. Always nice to see you, Angie. There's Sandy. Good morning. Ah. Mm. Oh. Right. Ooh. Make, oh no, lines to write or doodle on. Make lines to write or doodle on. Wow, that's lovely. I love that part. My paint is still dry, dry. So I'm gonna come in and then I like to write on my pages. I like to write the title of our stream and I like to, write in it some of my memories of the stream and in comments then people will be saying <laughs> oh you've got Ryder you've got a little doggy called Ryder really a black dog and Rebecca in chat from Texas has got a black dog too um called Jughead <laughs> If you come on the bus with us soon, we will go on the bus to Rebecca's and you'll meet her dog. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> oh. So, oh, lovely. So that prompt was, what was that? Lines to write or doodle on. So you can doodle on the lines or write on the lines. I like to come in. Where was last week's page? Oh, it has so many. I mean, because you don't get to see these pages, do you? Let me just show you. That was my, oh, I had such fun with the prompts. And that was my interpretation. Everybody's pages come out differently. But I did write on that. And it, you are stronger than you know. That was the stream where Kat found the, found the dragonfly in the painting. And I wrote down lots of positive notes. lines to doodle or write on. Yes, that's it. That's it. I've got, have I got my elbow in paid? No. And, and then I wrote down all the things that people said to how art helped them. 
Right, let's have another prompt. I'm not rushing you, but I know that it will be, it's nearly my time to say goodbye to you all. I would, if you're new here at this stage, what we do is I ask people to put a number in, in, um, in chat between one and a hundred, and I randomly pick a number. And if it's on or under, I send a very small little happy mouth. And here comes Becky popping in a number. And pop a number in for yourself, but pop a number in for other people as well. I can send happy mail to um, anybody, Becky's mum or people that have been here earlier, people that aren't here now and anybody. Pick a number between one and a hundred, says Vanessa. Thank you so much. That's it. We're missing our lovely Barbara this morning, Barbara Chicken Pot. That's right. Thank you for popping in a number for her, Marty. That's kind of you. Thank you. Um, there. And I've got two more prompts to read out while we're doing that. That's it, Keely. <laughs> You're getting the hang of it. That's fantastic. <laughs> Cheryl, you're, you're putting a number in for Brenda A. Thank you very much. Lovely. <laughs> I've got one more prompt. Oh, this one was when I was said chat's choice. I write things down. And Kat said, use a recycled item. So you can print with a recycled item, use a bag like I have. I will come in with more things though. Use a recycled item, you can print with one or lots of numbers. Kathy's coming in with one for Lizzie. It's so hard to find a number somebody hasn't got as well. I know it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Anna Jean. So nice to see you, Anna Jean. Do I recognize your name or are you new? It's so nice to meet you. Thank you for popping in the prompts there. Um, make a snippet wrong. Scrape paint, lace. Is that five we've had already? Make a snippet wrong. Scrape paint lace oh yes make lines to doodle or journal on so there was another one in there yeah and use recycled items thank you Kat for that mm. oh Jasper yes I love swapping postcards postcards are great for happy mail they pop through the letterbox don't they and they Oh, thank you, Anna Jean. So lovely, so lovely to meet you. <laughs> thank you for coming in and thank you for chatting. It's not always easy to come into a new chat. 50 for our lovely Beth. And the sixth prompt is texture. Texture. Mm. No, not at all, Vanessa. No, I get discombobulated as well. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. And and when my postcard from Kathy popped through the post. It was lovely. Just said, you are appreciated. Oh, I think it's already gone in the journal. Jasper, yes, definitely. I definitely agree with you that it's a lovely way to send happy now. There was that lovely one from Kathy. Love it. Mm. Right, let's, let's pick a number. Y yes, Beth, wake up. <laughs> no, no. Beth. You may need the sleep. <laughs> she was screaming last night, I do believe. So, hmm. so she's probably tired. Hmm. So let's, um, do you know, this time I'm with you, it just goes so quickly, so quickly. <laughs> um, and I, do, if I miss things that you say in chat, do message me or write it in comments or say it again. Random number generator. And talking about DD, you met me in DDs. I'll just generate the number before we lose it between 
one and a hundred generate and it's number 12 if you could help me out people help me out we're keeping Dee Dee in our hearts we we spoke about it earlier this morning when we lit our first candle didn't we she's gone to Texas and she she's has a family emergency so we're very much keeping her in our thoughts and prayers this today and the coming week yeah hmm. Oh, thank you. Wonderful. Thank you for writing the prompts up there. I will put the prompts in my community, on my community tab. Mm. Sandy. Oh, lovely. Sandy. Sandy, do I have any way of contacting you on social media, on Instagram? Or uh, how how do I um, contact you, um, Sandy? Also need to con be know how to contact Peter if you're on the replay, Peter. Hmm. Lovely. Let's pick another number as well. If we haven't lost them, fifty-eight, or, or if we lost the numbers already, that's number twelve. And number fifty-eight. Was anybody on or near fifty-eight? Let's have another one. Right, so I'm going to do this one. This is for the comments today. So I can send something to somebody because if you're not in the live, it just means that you don't miss out. It's nice to be part of something, isn't it? Generate the number. And number four. So Journey, I'm going to send some happy mail to Journey. That was somebody in comments ideas, one of the replayers, the lovely replayers. Aunt Bex has 58, Aunt Bex, Becky. I remember when I first met Aunt Bex, because I'd been introduced to you as Aunt Bex, I felt I had to call you Aunt Bex. It was impolite to call you Becky. <laughs> but now I, yeah. So Aunt Becky and Sandy. Sandy, did you say how I can get um, in touch with you? Just let me know. And I shall be now I am Journey. Lovely. Oh, I'm loving that. <laughs> now I can concentrate. Oh, there's Journey there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you've been there. <laughs> right. Gosh. I'm going to say goodbye. Um, email or Penny Pudge by email. Yeah, I'll put my, let me put my email in here and then I will take it out when, once you've got it. Um, oh gosh, I can't type, I can't type, sorry. So I'm just putting my email in there. If you grab that and then I will, is that right? Yes. And then I will delete it so it's not on there. Mm. <laughs> so if somebody would like to put the link in for Rebecca's, because if you have the time or you would like to, we're going to hop on the bus. We've got a red bus coming here and a yellow bus. <laughs> we're going to hop to Rebecca's live now. <laughs> And but let me just leave you with a thought. If you if you if it helps, it always helps me to I set myself up with things for the week. This oh there's my glasses. <sighs> there they are. <laughs> I've needed those during the stream. I set myself up to this week. I, I'm I'm going to do some of my hand quilting. I know it's there to grab. I can take that all around the house with me. I'm saying this just in case it helps because then if I get called away to my mum's or on the train, I can take that with me. Also, if I'm not feeling that well, what I can do is I've got my little bits that I cut out, my glue stick, my envelopes 
to decorate and I can take that, I can even take that up to bed with me or if that helps, that's just what I do. So I don't have to think, oh, what shall I do? I've just got something there and it's there. If that helps any. <laughs> mm. You might be a bit late to Becca's. You're making cheesecakes. Oh, how lovely with your seven-year-old. It's lovely to cook with them. A kid's cookbook from CBBC. Kid's cookbooks are the best, aren't they, Sophia? Naomi, you take care. And Kimberly, goodbye. And Brenda, um, bye. So nice to have you all with us this afternoon or morning, as you like to say, or in the evening, or the people that are gently listening. And to the lovely replayers. I'm so glad that you could join us. There's Gail. You take care, Gail, and little Elvin. Bye, Jana. And I do hope your son's well enough to um, celebrate the your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Janet. Mm. Bye, Kimberly, dear. And Kat, take care. Thank you. You have a creative week too. Yes. Bye, Joni. Bye, Safia. Enjoy the cheesecake. Sounds delish. I don't know. That sat, was that in aid of the CBBC cookbook? That sounds fun, actually. <laughs> Becky W, take care. And Aunt Bex. Hmm. Oh, Aunt Bex says, Janet Burgess, what's your mail? <laughs> oh, it reminds me of that movie, You've Got Mail. Let's take care, Susan. Sue, sorry. Sylvia, goodbye. Janet, Janet, take care. I know you've been having, Janet USA, um, I know you've been having stressful times. Uh, yes, um, you take care, you take care. Do some creating to take your mind off things. I know you create lovely things. There's Roy, take care. <laughs> Bye, Pam. Happy sewing this week, Pam. Mm. Bye, Ruth. Take care. And the links up there, I'm sure Rebecca's. Um, oh, you sent me an email. Oh, thank you. That reminds me. I just need to scoot up the chat. I need to find that. And I need to delete that comment. Thank you. Oh, you're going to email me. Super. Um, pin. I don't want to pin that. I want to delete it. Oh, I don't know how to. Is there one of the, oh, remove. Does that remove that comment? Oh, yes, I did it. By George, I did it. Yeah, there we are. Mm. Jean, take care. I do hope you were pleased with the mug of the day. And it's teal. <laughs> take care, everybody. Have a wonderful week and have a gentle, a gentle creative week. Don't have high expectations of yourself. Mm -hmm. You take good care. See you soon, Becca. No rush, no rush. <laughs> we'll be there. Mm. That's a lovely way to say it. Have a joyful and creative week. Yes. Take good care, everyone. I'll put the phone down. Let's say goodbye to Freddie. Oh, let's give Fred another treat so you can see him. Thank you, Sandy. I love it when you're all here. And I love my mum days. I really do. Want another treat? It's going to come. We're going to start this. We can have one at the end as well. Why not? I love new routines. It's very small. He doesn't want to sit for that one. <laughs> you got one of these as well. Mmm, lovely. <laughs> well, oh, Susan, take care. Take care over there in San Francisco. Take care. <laughs> no, you hang up. No, I'll hang up. You hang up. <laughs> we are funny, aren't we? Mmm. Oh, it still shows it as pinned. Oh, right. Oh, okay. That's not good, is that? It says message retracted. Oh, dear. I don't know how to sort that out. Oh, well, hey-ho. Um, thank you, though. 
it might that might sort itself off when I turn the video off. Are you sniffing for more? Oh, I haven't put the lid on. Do you see that? They, oh, they're finished now, Freddie. Mm. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, Miriam's just saying about, sorry, I will just take um, more time. Pinned, Janet now. I don't want to pin it. Yeah, thanks for bearing with me here as I, I don't know how to. Unpin, oh yes, unpin, done it, <laughs> thank you, thank you for encouraging me because I was just going to say, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Kathy, bye, take care, you take care of yourself, yeah, oh Janice, oh, thank you so much for your happy mail, I've been so enjoying playing with it and I love your dipped tags. <laughs> Oh, mom, just one more, says Freddie. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit and eat my Gary Baldy biscuits now. <laughs> Bye, Anna. So nice to to have you here. Right, I better put the phone down. You never want it to end. Bye, replayers. <laughs> hmm.